today. And we are going to be making a wreath. And I got all the items at Dollar Tree. So you're gonna need this, it's a wreath ring. Some mesh ribbon, whatever colors you want your wreath to be. And then you're gonna want one of these if you want. I chose to do a witch themed wreath and I got paint to paint the wood sign so it's not so plain. And I also got some of these LED lights and you're gonna need batteries to go with those. And these brooms came in a three pack. I don't know where the third one is, but I'm gonna use these two. Some of these flowers, they got spiders and eyeballs and I'm gonna cut them and put them on there. These hats, they came in a three pack, but I'm only using one. And if you want, you can take the pipe cleaners off the hat and use them to secure the ribbon on your wreath. And then I also got these things, whatever you call them, they're sparkly. And I got some of these witch feet for the bottom. I thought they were really cool. And you're also gonna want a glue gun. That's hot. All right guys, I'm gonna start this project off by painting this so it can dry while we're doing the rest. I'm gonna squeeze some paint onto the plate. We're gonna start with the hat. I'm gonna make that purple. All right, I got the hat done. I'm gonna let that first coat dry and then I'm gonna do it again because it's pretty light. Now I'm gonna do the moon. I'm gonna paint that orange. Oh, this orange is coming through good. Oh yeah, guys. This orange is it. All right, guys. Oh, I just got paint on my table. It's looking so cute so far. And now I'm gonna paint the wicked black. Oh, guys, this is looking bad. But it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. So I got the sign painted. It was a little tricky and messy, but it looks super cute. And this is Fred. He's such a sweet boy. Okay, bye, Fred. All right, guys, so we're gonna start the ribbon part. And to do this, you want to glue your ribbon down. I'm gonna start by folding it in half so it's easier to glue down than that long strip. I'm gonna glue it down to this wreath ring and then I'm just going to go around with it folded in half still and wrap it around the ring. Fold it in half and wrap it around, Damn. which just can get tricky. So if you have another person at home who can hold the wreath ring for you while you wrap it around, that might be easier. Right now my stomach is my other person. And all this stuff was from Dollar Tree. This is my second wreath I've ever made. I forget how the last one turned out. I think it turned out good. It's hard to keep the ribbon folded. I have faith in you all. If I can do it, anyway. Right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna keep doing this. I got a little carried away with the purple. So, we're not gonna be using these, say goodbye. We're gonna do purple all the way around. Next year I'll do that. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna finish the rest. I got that part done. And we have this opening here, because I'm gonna put flowers there, like that. But first, I'm gonna cut them off, or just pull them off, like that. And these have eyeballs in them, so they're cool. I'm gonna get this the right way here. Then we're just gonna stick them in like that. And we're gonna glue it. We are watching you, you know, because it's gonna be hanging on the front door. That looks really cool. <gasps> Hi guys, we got the flowers done. Woo! Next, we're gonna glue this broom to this broom, just to make it look a little better. And I tried to paint this so it'll blend in. I decided I don't like the bow because it, you can tell it looks a little, you know. And you don't need this twisty tie on here either. So we're just gonna take both of those off and then I'm gonna take this ribbon and wrap it around this piece you see right here. All right, it's done. And now I'm going to glue it. I did it, guys! Smells like it'll hook. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys also, I'm going to pop these spiders off and this is what the flowers were on. I'm gonna pop them off where this had a rope on it so you can hang it. It has holes now. So to cover those holes up, I'm gonna shove the spiders in there to give it 
you know, some flav, just like that. And I'm gonna do it with the other side. I got the spiders in the hole. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to this like so. What? I got it glued on, y'all. Now I'm gonna try and put some lights in here. I decided instead of going through the hassle of putting it through or whatever, I just wrapped it around and then when it lights up at night, it'll be orange. So cool, you guys. I'm so spooky. That's gonna be real cute. I'll know right where my front door is with this lid up. All right, guys, we did it. I mean, it was mostly me because he doesn't have some, but he's a cute helper. But we did it and I am going to figure out how to- What are you doing? <laughs>